Hi, my name's Nathan, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use layout mode in Fieldlink MR. We're going to start in our radial menu and jump into the layout mode. Here, we can select a point by air tapping or gazing, and we'll notice this big beam of light showing which point we've selected. Alternatively, if we bring up the feature context menu, we can pick a point from the layout list. We can cycle through that layout list by using the page up and down buttons, just like this, and then simply pushing our finger through the point that we want to select in order to highlight that point. If we're not looking exactly at that layout point, we'll notice these big directional arrows that guide us to look in the right direction. Now I can see that big beam of light showing me exactly which point I'm supposed to lay out. If I wanted to pick a different point, I can simply reach out and air tap or gaze at another point even while this point is selected. To make sure that I'm laying out the right information, I can read the point information card, which gives me the point name and the layer in order to make sure I'm going to lay out the right information. Now, before I do any layout, it's going to be really important to update my layout settings. To do so, go to the main menu, settings, and then layout settings, where I can now update my horizontal tolerance and my vertical tolerance, as well as my layout preference, choosing things like next or nearest. So next being the next sequential point and nearest being the closest point to me. I can also update my laser aim by standard or visual layout. Now that I've got that all good to go, I'm ready to lay out my point. So I'm gonna go and select this point by air tapping and now I can grab my prism and walk up to that location. As I get closer, I'll notice the interface change. And now horizontally, it's gonna show me the direct information coming from the total station. And that's how I get that accuracy and precision of the total station. If I look on the left side, I've got that green check mark that shows my vertical tolerance as well, also coming from the total station, so I can be confident with my measurement. Once everything goes green, that means I'm within my horizontal and vertical tolerance where I can say, look at, or tap the measure button. Here, I get my points information panel showing me that point was staked in tolerance, and I can leverage that BIM data to now physically mark up the job site. Once I close that out, the next point will be selected for my layout. And in this case, I want to select a different one, and I'll show an example of laying out a point out of tolerance in case there is something in my way or uh, I just happen to lay something out of tolerance. In this case, I'm going to gaze at that measure button and take this observation. Now I'll see a big red X showing that that point was clearly laid out of tolerance. If I wanted to use the laser mode, I'll bring up my feature context menu and hit the prism laser toggle button, just like this. Now that I'm in laser mode, I can pick a point through the layout list or physically in front of me, just as we've done in the past. In this case, I'll select this point over here. And now I'll take a look over at my total station and show that it's aiming itself automatically to that right location. If I get a little closer, I'll be able to see that laser on the ground. Here, it's showing me that it's actually off horizontally. And this is the real difference between visual layout and standard aim. Standard aim is gonna look for that exact design point and point directly at it. If there's a vertical difference like there is in this case, we're not gonna get the right horizontal position. So I'm gonna go into my layout settings and update to visual layout. Visual layout is gonna look for that design point and check for the vertical difference so that it can then adjust itself and find the correct horizontal position. In this case, I've reselected that point, and now we can see that the laser is adjusting itself to get at the right horizontal position. Now that I'm in tolerance, I'll see that vertical difference, in this case, 15 millimeters, and I'm happy with that, so I'll go ahead and hit measure just like I would in the past. Just like in prism mode, I'll get that BIM data coming up in just a second here, where I can then physically mark out the job site. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.